strive continuous improvement. A Chinese general named Sun Tzu wrote The Art of War over 2,500 years ago, possibly in the 6th century BC. The book has long been heralded for its advice on military success. Sun Tzu quotes, How to Conquer Life's Battles. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gained you will also suffer a defeat. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable, when using our forces, we must appear inactive, when we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away, when far away, we must make him believe we are near. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. If your enemy is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. If your opponent is temperamental, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. If he is taking his ease, give him no rest. If his forces are united, separate them. If sovereign and subject are in accord, put a division between them. Attack him where he is unprepared, appear where you are not expected. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Engage people with what they expect, it is what they are able to discern and confirms their projections. It settles them into predictable patterns of response, occupying their minds while you wait for the extraordinary moment, that which they cannot anticipate. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. Thus we may know that there are five essentials for victory, one he will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Two he will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. Three he will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all its ranks. Four he will win who, prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. Five he will win who has military capacity and is not interfered with by the sovereign. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons. And they will follow you into the deepest valley. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. Move swift as the wind and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be still as the mountain. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate foe too hard. The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. There are not more than five musical notes, yet the combinations of these five give rise to more melodies than can ever be heard. There are not more than five primary colors, yet in combination they produce more hues than can ever been seen. There are not more than five cardinal tastes, yet combinations of them yield more flavors than can ever be tasted. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. Know yourself and you will win all battles. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong, and strike at what is weak. To win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. Be extremely subtle even to the point of formlessness. 
be extremely mysterious even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. When strong, avoid them. If of high morale, depress them. Seem humble to fill them with conceit. If at ease, exhaust them. If united, separate them. Attack their weaknesses. Emerge to their surprise. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. Thank you for watching and listening to Sun Tzu quotes, How to Conquer Life's Battles. It's your turn to tell us down below, what motivates and inspires you.